Hi, I'm Nicole. Welcome to Mentoring Masterminds, where we will combine expert level insights we've gained as a top rated mentoring software provider with real world best practices for mentoring program leaders at top organizations. Did you know that multiple studies, including one by McKinsey and Company, have shown that companies with diverse leadership are more profitable? Diversity brings in fresh ideas and perspectives, making companies more innovative and productive. Finding diverse talent to fill leadership positions can be challenging, but mentorship is a great solution to that problem. In this video, we're going to walk through how to use mentoring programs to identify, enable, and promote diverse talent within your organization. Stay tuned until the end as well, so you can hear from an HR leader within our mentoring community on how they've leveraged mentoring to create a stronger pathway to leadership for diverse talent. Launching and managing mentoring programs was already a challenge before the remote work transformation. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to get a first look at new content posted right here every Wednesday. It's simple, but it needs to be said. You'll have a hard time supporting and promoting diverse talent if you don't have any. Additionally, if your organization is not seen as one that supports DEI, you aren't likely to attract a more diverse talent pool. Make sure your DEI initiatives are well publicized externally and especially within your job postings. Remove biases from the hiring process as much as possible so you don't unintentionally remove applicants from underrepresented groups from the process. As you make hiring decisions, think about your company's DEI goals and how each hire will help you achieve those goals. One reason your company may struggle with diverse leadership is that your high-performing talent isn't visible to leaders. In business, the saying, it's not about what you know, but who you know, remains true today as it's ever been. Team members from historically underrepresented groups often struggle with the who you know part. Selecting them to be mentors in reverse mentoring programs can give them that kind of visibility. While reverse mentoring is designed to create better leaders, it also makes those junior level team members more present in the minds of leaders. Once it comes time to start selecting team members for promotions, those junior level team members who served as mentors in reverse mentoring programs will have far more visibility and a better chance at getting promoted to leadership positions. High potential mentoring programs are designed to be a first step for junior level team members to get additional mentoring on a pathway to leadership. As you create these programs and start identifying who should be selected for them, be sure to make DEI a priority. Ask yourself several questions as you create a framework and selection criteria, such as, does this selection criteria match the company's DEI goals? Are we filtering out proximity or role-based biases? Are we defining high potential in a way that more meaningfully includes a wider range of skill sets? Who gets included in a high potential mentoring program can be tricky. Making sure to be thoughtful about your selection criteria and processes can help you remove unseen biases that might remove diverse talent from consideration. Additionally, as you launch and run your high potential programs, make sure you have a more diverse selection of mentors serving in the program. Because high potential programs are usually targeted to junior level employees who may one day become managers or leaders in some capacity, try to leverage existing leaders from diverse backgrounds who can potentially be paired with others of similar backgrounds if that's what the mentee prefers. When employees reach a level where they need leadership development, it means they've either been promoted or will soon be promoted to a leadership position. Your leadership development curriculum and mentoring strategy should include DEI training. Organizational leaders are the most important advocates of your company's culture. 
new leaders may not realize or recognize what it takes to serve as cultural ambassadors for an organization. Include training so that they know how to navigate the DEI space and be the kind of proponents that make DEI a stronger part of your values. Many companies use MentorClick's Inclusion Lab to help train mentors to be more successful in navigating diversity, equity, and inclusion within their mentoring relationships. But that kind of knowledge cuts across lanes. It's important for both mentors and leadership development programs, as well as their mentees who will be taking on leadership roles. Take a moment to watch this video from a leader in our community on how to add DEI into your leadership development programs. We have courses in efficacy mm -hmm. for people of color. We mm -hmm. have efficacy for LGBTQ. We mm -hmm. have efficacy for women in the leadership positions. In addition to that, we have career programs that are specifically created for our talent. Um, two years ago, we have a Black Talent Career Development Program and Summit that was launched. Okay. That team is now, people that participate in that program are now gonna go through the Mentoring Click platform and a mentoring program okay. that supports them and what they're doing. So. Uh, DEI is embedded into all the things that we do. If we look at our learning management system, mm -hmm. we're looking at our content and the creation that we're pushing out to the organization. Mm -hmm. It's embedded again within our meetings with the town halls. So it's not just an add on, it's definitely woven into our learning and development, the career progression, and mm -hmm. what we're looking at for everybody. Okay, yeah. so all right, great. So you continue to reinforce that through all these different avenues, all the different channels. All right. Which DNI program are you most proud of? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was telling you, I was like, I think they're like, uh, if you look at the programs that are currently in play and those mm -hmm. are even come online, I'd say it's like, they're like peanut M&Ms, right? They're all look a little different. Mm -hmm. They all have the same kind of center. Okay. But they're all unique in their own way. So I don't have a favorite. I love that they all speak to their own groups and their own populations. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think they're they're all special to me because they're all <laughs> like doing something that I originally saw mm -hmm. and wanted to see come to fruition in using the platform. How does your company support DEI goals? Let us know in the comments below. Hiring a more diverse pool of talent will get you started. But once you have the right talent, mentoring programs will streamline the process of identifying and promoting that talent. Additionally, because mentoring is an effective peer learning tool, you can use it to help socialize your company's DEI goals and values to all of your company's leaders. The more diverse your leadership team becomes and the more equipped they are to promote DEI within your workplace, the better your organization will be across multiple measurable areas, including profitability, engagement, employee satisfaction, and retention. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more great content like this. And visit us at mentorclick.com to read more about how to make mentoring work at your organization.